Then I'll just say we're going to uh, administer blank share a word with us, however, however the Lord uses you. Comes about, don't you know, just go with the flow of it, following uh, that we will receive our communion today. But let's greet Minister Black with a hearty amen. Amen. And a hand praise in Jesus' name. Somebody said, ain't God good? He gives us so many blessings. Uh, undeserving, that's what we are. We ought to praise him. Love and thank him. A little more today. A whole lot more tomorrow. You may be seated. Because we won't have a traditional message. Um, it's funny, this morning I was telling Sister Kadeen, I was really struggling this week just to come with a uh, thought. Um, and I was just seesawing between two sh two scriptures, and I said, you know, maybe the Lord just doesn't want me to preach. That's, that's all right with me. I don't got to say nothing. But um, as the as the uh, praises were going up in this beautiful this beautiful testimony, the Lord did just confirm a scripture that I'm going to read to you in your hearing. You don't have to turn away, but it's Haggai chapter two, verses three, uh, verse three and six and nine, three, six and nine and three. Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? It is not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all the nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than, uh, than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give you peace, saith the Lord of hosts. That scripture was just resonating with me. As I begin to think on just this anniversary, and I think we all can say that we've been in some former houses. We all can say we've been in other places. And as Israel was at this place in their life, uh, they began to erect a house to God because it was destroyed. It was torn down. That's how life is sometimes. We had a place of safety. We had a place where we felt the presence of God. And for whatever reason, that, that place and that position was lost. And so they began to build a house to God. And, and those that were there for the first house, they, they were sad. Because it didn't look like what they were used to. It wasn't as, one would say, aesthetically beautiful. It didn't have all the gold. It didn't have all the silver. It didn't have all the things that made it attractive. In Oh my God. But the Spirit of God spoke. And he said, this house, yeah. even though it might not look like what you're used to, uh -huh. huh? you know, Masha. even though it might, it might not look like what you're used to experiencing, even though the preaching might not be what you're accustomed to, even though the praises might not sound the way that you're used to, even though the singing might not have all the eloquence and the perfection that you're used to, you said, this house, the glory will be greater. And I thank God because that was just ringing in my heart and in my spirit. Uh, because the first house, the glory was so strong. The first house, uh, as they begin to dedicate it to God, the spirit of God would come into the place and it was so strong. It was so mighty that they could see the actual smoke all uh, coming from heaven and it was so thick uh, that they, they couldn't stand in the house they had to run out and what a bar to set at the first house but God said the glory that I'm ready to show you the glory that, that, that I'm going to give you is even greater than what you're used to my God uh, that's just the baseline you thought that was the ceiling you thought that was the place that you're trying to reach to you're, you're remembering back in the day Lord when I was on fire Lord when I received the Holy Ghost what a mighty move it was, Lord, when I see those demons cast out, I never seen anything like it. Lord, when I seen somebody healed, I said, there can't be more, but God said in this house, you will see a greater glory. You will experience a greater glory, and it might not look like the way you're used to. It might not sound like the way you're used to. But the glory that's going to show up, it might not be a shaking glory, it might not be a tongue-talking glory, but it's a life-changing anointing. It's a devil chasing anointing that thing that sits on the city will be loose in the name of Jesus. 
That's the glory he wants to send on us. But we just got to be hungry. We got to be thirsty for righteousness. We got to fast like we never fasted before. We got to pray like we never prayed before. We got to sacrifice like we never sacrificed before. And the glory is going to show up. How many want the glory to show up? It's going to show up on your job. It's going to show up in your house. It's going to show up in your car. What you never seen before. The glory. The glory. The glory of the Lord. Somebody pray for the glory. Somebody pray for the glory. I need the glory. I need that anointing. I need that power. I'm tired of not seeing people delivered. I just want the glory. The glory. That's what the Lord wants to give us in this house. Saints, don't get caught up on what it doesn't look like. Don't get stuck in your mind in the past and compare what you experience to right now. Because the Lord said, I will do a new thing. I will make roads in the desert. I'll put water in the desert and the wilderness. Where there was no blessing before, I'm going to show up. Where there was no power before, I'm going to manifest. That's the kind of God we serve. It's not just in the Bible. He said we'll be living epistles seen in right of all men. And it won't be contained in the four walls of a building. But as we walk, as we go in the power and the might of God, He said, Everywhere you put your feet, you got authority. Everywhere you go, you got power to tread on the enemy. Hallelujah. I just want the glory. 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 Hallelujah. Y'all can be seated. The glory. Hi, Allah. As I begin to just read this scripture, I begin to see even the prophetic nature that the Lord was speaking here. He said, Yet a little while will I shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. How many know God shifts things? He begins to change things in your life. You are used to it looking and being one way, but he said, I'm going to do something a little different here. And he said, I will shake all the nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. What was he talking about? He was saying the riches, the power of all nations shall flow into this house. In the same way the prophetic is speaking today, that in this house all nations will come. That we will have people in this house that don't look like what we're used to. We'll have people in this house that don't talk like what we're used to. We'll have people in this house that don't operate the way that we're used to. But they will be the choice of the nation. They will not be regular. They will not be average. But because of the power of God, they will be anointed to work in this house. That's what the Lord is speaking of to us. That is the desire of the nation shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. Saints, we got to get used to the unconventional. We got to get used to the non-traditional. And other people might not get it. They might be like, that's the weird church. They do weird things at that church. On Sunday morning, they have testimonies. That's a little bit unconventional if you go someplace else. At that church, the sisters got a word in their mouth. There's a prophetic anointing flowing in that church there's interpretation in that church God is moving like I've never seen it before but we gotta get used to it we gotta get comfortable in it we gotta say Lord we just want your will to be done we don't care what it looks like it can come from you sister Nell it can come from you brother one as long as the Lord has his way fill this house with glory fill this house with glory fill this house with glory I'm not talking about just clapping your hands, glory. But when there's a shift in the spirit, when we can't leave the sanctuary all day because the power is moving. Oh, God, because we want to pray and stay in the house all weekend long just to get our breathe, our son. Just to get our breath through. Just to see the Lord show up again. 
just to see people get delivered from homosexuality and oppression or suicidal thoughts, anger, hatred and all manner of things to see them demons cast out of their own shut up by the power of the Holy Ghost. We just want the glory. We want the glory. We want the glory. Hey, y'all. In this in year three, God has been setting a foundation of this church. He's been bringing the pieces together. And he says, now it's time to let go of the past. Now it's time to let go of your old house. Now it's time to let go of that old hurt. Now it's time to let go of that old trauma and embrace this new house I put you in and embrace the unconventional I put you in because I want to use you. I want to use you. I want to use you. That is the glory of God. And it's not so we can say we're all that. It's not so we can go around to the convention and put our fingers behind our little and say, look, we're spirit and truth and we showed up. And y'all are lower than us. That's not what the glory is for. But every time something happens, we lift up the name of Jesus and say it is not by power. It is not by might. But it's only by the spirit of God. Because I am weak. I am warned. But the Holy Ghost showed up. The Holy Ghost came through and changed my life. That's what the glory is for. So we can point back to Him and everybody can say, It wasn't me. It was Jesus. It was Jesus. Only God can do it. The glory. The verse ends in the glory of this latter house shall be greater it shall be greater we can hold on to a promise it shall be greater than what we've ever experienced in our life saith the Lord of hosts and in this place will I give you peace God will give us peace in but we have to chase that glory. We can't be going around doing the same thing we've been doing for 20, 30 years somewhere. God wants us to do more. He wants us to dig deeper. He wants us to seek his face. Because somebody said, I think it might have been Sister Revere, the prayers that, the prayers that you prayed, they're not in vain. The prayers that you prayed, they're literally coming to fruition. And all you have to do is hold on. That's all you have to do is believe God that that is going to come to pass. That is the word of the Lord for you on this morning. I pray you are blessed. Say, Jesus, need the glory. Jesus, need the glory.